Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm going to be showing you guys my GT Aggressor Pro and some of the upgrades I've made. Uh, just to start off, I got this bike for $400 used on Craigslist in May of 2020, which was a pretty good price at the time, and I put $266 in upgrades onto the bike. All of my upgrades came from Amazon, and I will have the links to every upgrade in the description below if you're interested. So this is my GT Aggressor Pro, 27.5 size large frame. I am about six foot two. I'm gonna go over the upgrades I've made in order that I bought them. So it kind of shows you the prioritization that I thought when I was making my upgrades. The first thing I upgraded were the pedals, uh, the stock pedals, some of the, you know, the grip parts, the knobs came off on my first ride and it was just not worth it. So I got these Fuker pedals. Um, Seth, you might've seen them on Seth's Bike Hacks. He made a review of these. They're basically a knockoff of the Race Face Chester, but they've worked fine for me. The next upgrade I made was upgrading the stem. So I wanted a shorter stem to help the rider position because my back was just too out of whack when I was riding. Um, this stem was about $15 and it, it's worked fine so far. The next upgrade I did was upgrading the saddle. Um, partially because the stock saddle had no cushion on it and I broke that anyways. But this saddle has significantly more cushion than the saddle that the GT comes with. And this was also about $20 on Amazon. The next upgrade I made were the tires. These are Maxxis Icon 2.2 uh, width tires. They have a pretty non-aggressive tread pattern, which is good for me because I use this bike for general transportation as well as mountain biking. The next thing I upgraded were the brake discs. This wasn't necessarily an upgrade. These are still 160 millimeter Shimano uh, discs. However, mine were so bent, I was having so much issues with brake rubbing that I decided to get a brand new pair for the front and the back. The last bike upgrade that I've made was upgrading the handlebars. I did this last, as you can tell, because in my opinion, you don't really need to upgrade the stock handlebars. These are slightly wider and significantly lighter than the stock handlebars, and they look a little cooler. The, the paint is a little more of a matte black, which kind of matches the frame. So that's all of the upgrades I've made. Um, now we'll go into the modification I've made. I took off the front derailleur, as you can see. I only ever use the middle chain ring right here, so I really don't have a use for a front derailleur, and it also cleaned up my handlebars. In the place of that, I have this Crank Brothers multi-tool, which I secured with bike tube and electrical tape, and I can get to it just like this. This tool will also be linked in the description. If you're interested, I would recommend it. The last kind of modification that I've made so far are the tubes. So I have these slime inner tubes because I was having a lot of issues with popping tubes and I just kind of got tired of it. These slime tubes do come with a Schrader valve, which isn't a problem to upgrade. You just have to drill a slightly larger hole in the rim. On this front tire, I still have um, an inner tube with a Presta valve. That's because this tube hasn't popped or got any holes on me in a while. So once that does pop, I will do the same modification, drilling a slightly bigger hole here and inserting the slime inner tube. So that's about it. That's all I've done so far on my GT Aggressor Pro. Once again, total price of this is about $644. Everything was from Amazon. And if you're interested, check out the links in the description. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to answer any questions. And if you have similar upgrades or you have anything you want to share, just leave it in the comments. Thanks.